Welcome to Crying Out Cloud, the podcast that will make you laugh, cry, and reconsider all of your cloud security fears. I'm Eden from the CTO team at Wiz. Uh, in this episode, I am sadly without my co-host, Ami Tai, but for good reason. He will be back soon. Um, and we have a very, very special guest and uh, a very esteemed colleague of ours, Eli Ben Sasson, who is a security researcher at Wiz and who has recently found something um, quite novel and published fascinating research on SAP. Welcome, Eli. Thank you for having me. Um, spill the tea. What did you find? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, my latest research was uh, on the SAP AI Core platform, uh, which is like a platform for uh, training AI models, running AI applications, etc., powered by SAP. Uh, and what we found was actually a pretty crazy finding. Uh, it allowed us to... Uh, gain crazy levels of access uh, within uh, SAP environment. Uh, and all of it was because of basically one single uh, mishap, one single misconfiguration. What was that singular misconfiguration? <laughs> so we were actually able to uh, bypass uh, the firewall solution that uh, blocked us from gaining access to the internal network. Uh, we were able to bypass it by changing our user ID to 1337. Uh, and once we did that, uh, it was basically a whole another world. Yeah, it's because 1337 is like elite, like elite, and it's really cool hacker slang from the 90s. So this sure. was a fun fact in their exploration. <laughs> Made it a whole lot more interesting. So you get through, you bypass the firewall, and then what? what's on the other side? What's uh, the potential for impact that could be done? Uh, so the stuff we found was actually, we found, we gained admin access on SAP's uh, container registries, on their uh, artifact servers, on the uh, SAP core, AI core Kubernetes cluster. Uh, and we actually gained access to customers' own uh, cloud credentials and private AI files, meaning that we could launch a supply chain attack uh, from SAP and gain access to customer cloud environments that had nothing to do with SAP. Uh, for example, us in our environment, uh, we had to add keys to our AWS account in order to store the uh, our AI artifacts that we created. So if someone was able to hack me through that platform, it was able to get access to my AWS account, which has nothing to do with SAP. Uh, so it's crazy potential for attacks. Crazy potential. Okay, so this is interesting also because because it comes after other AI vulnerabilities your team found in Hugging Face and in Replicate. Um, why do you believe that these AI services are very particularly susceptible um, to this like uh, nature of vulnerabilities? And what kind of common mistakes are you seeing that could be avoided and fixed so we uh, continue to improve security around AI? Right. Uh, so this is actually, like you said, the, like the third time we're able to hack a big time AI service provider. And I think like the, the crux of it all is that uh, AI uh, and AI models specifically are essentially just code. Uh, so when these platforms let people uh, run their AI models or AI training or all that other stuff, uh, people need to understand that they're basically letting you run your own arbitrary code on the platform. So uh, people have to put appropriate guardrails around these kind of things like uh, Generally, cloud providers uh, don't allow you to do much in these platforms. And I think because these platforms are so new and they're so innovative, uh, then they don't still have that security maturity that other companies might have. Uh, so this is sort of a pattern that we're seeing in AI uh, companies, Hugging Face, Replicate, and now SAP. Uh, and the sort of impact that an attack like this can cause, an attack on an AI service, uh, is very, uh, very overreaching. Uh, people can, uh, you know, poison AI models. I can change, you know, predictions uh, that AI models cause. Like if someone asks ChatGPT, you know, what's the best cloud security company? I can tell ChatGPT to always reply with uh, Wiz. Because you're not biased at all. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the sort of stuff that you can do with this is like has very overarching impact. Like uh, you can uh, change predictions, you can poison models, you can conduct supply chain attacks on 
customers and AI developers. Uh, and this is sort of an emerging security world. Uh, and what we're trying to prove is that these risks uh, really exist in the real world. And so far, we were able to prove this in three different companies. <laughs> And you are not only proving it, but I think also what's really cool is to see that SAP responded really well and went and like resolved these bugs. And I think so it's also like bringing the whole world of AI security a whole step forward by like bringing this availability and transparency and lesson learning. Um, can you tell us more about what it was like to work with SAP and um, what has changed since you brought these findings to them? Right, so uh, we've worked uh, already with these three companies and now with uh, SAP also uh, in order to not only report these bugs uh, and show that we found them, but also to try to make these platforms more secure, right? Uh, so we were working with uh, SAP security team who was uh, who were really responsive and uh, worked very well with us uh, in order to fix all these bugs. In this case, we actually had two iterations because uh, at first they were able to uh, fix our initial bug uh, and then they changed sent it back to us for review. And at the review, we were actually able to find two completely new bugs uh, that were introduced uh, after they did those changes. Uh, so we really uh, worked with them in order to uh, make sure that the platform really was secure. And not only did those first fixes happen, but also another batch of fixes in order to truly uh, make sure that these attacks uh, won't be able to happen again, or at least not as easily. Uh, so I think it's like a the biggest part of this is being able to work with companies like SAP in order to make actually make this platform more secure. Uh, like I'm really happy that we made SAP AI core more secure than it was uh, before we started. Yeah, it's amazing. So they can keep doing their cool AI innovations and we get to reap the benefits and know that we are secure all the while. So a little more personal question about the finding of this vulnerability. Can you tell us where you were when you found it and what you were up to? Was it in the middle of the night? Are you a hacker who likes to work? like the depths of the night or what were you up to how'd you celebrate when you found it <laughs> we love working in in broad daylight <laughs> uh but we were uh we were in the office uh it was basically like a little you know the, the regular like trial and error process uh, you're sitting in front of your computer and you're just trying things until they work uh mm -hmm. and then this was there was this like crazy discovery of this uh the, the changing our user id to r when that worked, it was like crazy. People were like uh, shouting in the office. Uh, <laughs> it was like a really, you know, like an exciting finding. Uh, and then the stuff that happened later was like even more, uh, even more exciting because those were like really heavy hitting findings. Uh, so uh, yeah, research is uh, <laughs> the most thrilling thing uh, <laughs> you can do it with. Super cool. Um, and I think the whole world of security is grateful when you guys find these things and helps bring us forward. So thank you. And thank you for sharing. If people are interested in more, um, read the Wiz blog. Um, goes into much more detail. This was very high level. So you would get all the need to know on what's happening with the latest finding from Wiz Research. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, Eli, for joining us. And that is all for this episode of Crying Out Cloud, presented by the cloud security company, Wiz. If you enjoyed the show, be sure to subscribe and share a link to the podcast, but not your cloud keys. And as always, if your cloud security strategy is making you cry, don't worry, just cry out loud. Security.